Now, as seen in the video for exponential smoothing, the formula for finding the forecast using exponential smoothing method is the forecast for period T is equal to forecast for period T minus 1 plus alpha multiplied by actuals of T minus 1 minus the forecast of T minus 1. Now here the value of alpha is between 0 and 1. So if you set the value of alpha to 0, basically your forecast for the next period is equal to the forecast of the previous period. Hence setting the appropriate value of alpha is key to accurate forecasting with exponential smoothing method. So how do you determine the value of alpha? Now if the actual demand of the previous periods appears to be relatively stable over time, then we would select a relatively small value of alpha. That is a value closer to zero. On the other hand, if the demand tends to fluctuate rapidly, as in the case of a new product, which is experiencing tremendous growth, then we would select a relatively large value of alpha closer to 1. For example, let's take a demand graph versus time and the values are like this. So here there is not a lot of fluctuation. So what this means is that the value of this period here is very close to the value of this period here. So in other terms, the forecast for period T is very close to forecast for period T minus 1. So as we said earlier, if the demand is very stable, then we would take the value of alpha as something which is close to 0. However, if the graph goes like this, so here the forecast for the next period may not be same as the forecast for the previous period. Hence, in this case, we need to adjust the forecast on top of the forecast for period t minus 1. Hence, a higher value of alpha will help in finding the accurate forecast. Now, let us take a look at an example where we'll try to find out the forecast for period t using different values of alpha. In this example, we have been given data for a restaurant. Now this data is for the number of customers visiting this restaurant per day. The restaurant is open seven days a week and we have been given the actuals for the last week and what was forecasted for that week. Now based on this data, we are being asked to find out the forecast for the upcoming week using alpha equals to 0.7 and alpha equal to 0.3. So let's try to find out and then we'll compare the forecast generated by these two values. Now we know that the formula for finding forecast is f t minus 1 plus alpha a t minus 1 minus f t minus 1. So basically this is f t minus 1 and this is a t minus 1. So let us find out the forecast. 
so first we'll put down the days so Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday so let's first find out the forecast with alpha equal to 0 0.7 so let me pull my calculator here. So first let's find out a t minus 1 minus f t minus 1. So for Sunday, a t minus 1 is 157. So 157 minus f t minus 1 is 155. And then let's multiply this with alpha, which is 0.7. And then we have to add f t minus 1 which is 155 so plus 155 so we get 156.4 so 156.4 now let's move to Monday so again a t minus 1 minus f t minus 1 so 196 minus 191 multiplied by 0 0.7 plus ft minus 1 which is 191 so 194.5 similarly let me calculate for the remaining days for forecast alpha is 0 0.7 so these are the values for forecast using alpha is 0 0.7 now let's move on to find out the forecast with alpha equals to 0 0.3 so we have found out the value of forecast with alpha equals to 0.7 and alpha equals to 0.3 now let us compare these values along with the data for last week. Now just to remind this is the forecast for coming week. All right. So for Sunday last week the actual was 157 while the forecast was 155. Now when alpha is a lower value as we have discussed earlier the forecast will be closer to the previous period's forecast. So here with alpha equals to 0.3, the forecast for Sunday is 155.6 and with alpha equals to 0.7, the forecast is 156.4. So the lower value of alpha is leading to a forecast closer to the last week's forecast and a higher value of alpha is moving away from it. Let's look at Monday. So the actual is 196 and the forecast for last week is 191. Now with alpha is 0.3 the forecast for Monday is 192.5 which is closer to 191 and with alpha is 0.7 the value of forecast is 194.5 which is farther away from 191 similarly if you note the other data values you will find the same kind of trend so the value of alpha is key to determining the accurate forecast